If you use the assignment activity to gather student submissions as uploaded PDF files, then you can deliver feedback to students by annotating those submissions online within Moodle. To start annotating submitted PDFs, go to the assignment within the course. Click on the link to view all submissions. A table displays showing your students and the status of their submissions. Click on the grade icon for the student whose work you wish to annotate. The student's grading page opens. Click on the Launch PDF Editor link to start annotating the document. An overlay opens containing the PDF and displaying the first page. The toolbar at the top of the page contains grouped icons, which can be used to navigate the document and its comments. You may also add comments and other drawing elements. The first group of icons provides tools for navigating the document. The left and right arrows can be used to move back and forward a page at a time. The drop-down list can be used to jump straight to a page in longer documents. Skipping the search icon for the moment, the next group of two icons adds a colored comment box to the document. Click on the second icon to set the color of the comment. You must do this before creating the comment box. Click on the first icon and then click and drag to where you'd like the comment to appear. Type your comment into the box. You can move the comment by clicking and dragging it to the required position. The icon in the corner of the comment box gives two options, Add to Quick List and Delete Comment. Adding a comment to the Quick List makes it available to quickly add the same comment to another place in this document or to another submission. Once added to the document from the Quick List, the new comment can be further edited if required. The Search Comments button displays all the text comments. You can add a search term in the text box to reduce the list. Clicking on a comment moves the cursor to the end of that comment in the document. Skipping ahead, the fifth set of icons is a set of drawing tools that can be selected and used to create freeform lines or shapes, straight lines, squares or rectangles, circles and ellipses, and highlights. The final icon in the set determines the color of the object. This has to be set before creating the drawing object. The color and size of objects cannot be changed once made. The arrow icon removes the last effect that you chose and allows you to select drawing objects for deletion. Click on an object to select it and click on the dustbin in the top right corner to delete it. The final set of icons is the stamping tool and its options. Click on the second icon to change the stamp image. Click on the stamp icon to enable you to place the selected stamp image wherever you click in the document. Once you've finished marking up the PDF, click on the close icon on the overlay to close it. Back in the student's grading page, click on the Save Changes button to save your document markup.